Let's take a look at this. So um, we're, we've talked a little bit about a Donovan Peoples-Jones extension in the past. Um, what would it look like? Uh, so this is from uh, Jack Duff and Orange and Brown report. Um, Renfro, 15.85 million. Um, Allen Robinson, 15.5 million. OBJ and Sutton in the 15 million range. You've got Russell Gage, 8.5 million. Juju Smith-Schuster, 8.5 million. He's coming to um, a, a number of between 10 and 12 and a half million a year for a Donovan Peoples-Jones extension. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? that? That just, he's been productive to a point. I look at that number and it's like, wow, that, that's kind of more than I thought it would be. That's the same reaction I had, Dave. Um, he's been good. I thought he took a big step last year, solidified himself as, definitely a part of the rotation, even if you don't think he's a true number two. Um, you know, the combination of him and Elijah Moore, two and three, I think it's really strong. Um, opposite, you know, Amari Cooper or behind Amari Cooper. But double digits, it seems like a lot of money to me. It, it really does. Um, right now, I can't see the Browns paying that. Uh, you know, I don't think they want to get in a situation where they pay both receivers $10 plus million a year. They didn't like doing it when they had Landry and Beckham. I don't think they're going to like doing it with, uh, you know, X and Y, uh, Amari Cooper and whoever that other guy would be. So um, I don't know. I don't know if this is a case where they'll be able to work out a deal where it's less for him to stay, or it's a case where he's going to find hit the free agent market and have to be paid somewhere else. Yeah. And again, the, um, you know, the, the wide receiver market a year ago kind of blew up. It's been flatter this year. You, you just year to year, you just never know how, how that's going to shake down. The Browns have had a pretty good feel for for those kind of markets um, the last couple of years. It, it'll be interesting to see what is is that price going to keep going up for wide receivers. Yeah, and, and you know, there's a surprise every year, right? Christian Kirk kind of messed up the market, um, not in his state, in his <laughs> opinion, but for a lot of teams. Um, in 2022 off season. And then, you know, I was stunned. Odell got the money he got from Baltimore. So I know there's not, you know, those aren't the same circumstances, but to feel like the surprises, you know, Hardman didn't get a huge contract this year. So you just never know how it's going to play out, but it sure feels like even if this draft, there's a little dip in the receiver class. It feels like there's a lot coming out in the draft every year, which unless you're an elite guy, like an Amari Cooper, like a Jamar Chase, I think it's tougher for that second-level guy to get paid.